Shalom, brothers and sisters. I'm Brother Jonas, and the title of this video is Israel, the Rod of Iron. The Christian churches think that Christ will be gentle to the nations during the 1,000 years, and they completely overlook the scriptures because they lack understanding. Christ ruling with a rod of iron sounds anything but gentle, but we're going to see what the precepts say what the Most High say. We are being forged into a rod of iron as we live and grow in the Word. The Israelites are the real iron men of the earth. We have endured all the things that we brought upon ourselves and all the things that the nations have thrown at us and shall prevail against what lies ahead. And we're just getting better and stronger as we awaken in these last days of this world. Through the grace and mercy of our eternal power, Yahweh, we can do all things. The scriptures tell us and the world that read our book, the Bible, that Christ will rule with a rod of iron. Revelations 2, verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. He shall rule them, them being the nations or heathen, with a rod of iron. The rod of iron are the Israelites. And he says, as the vessels of a potter, shall the nations be broken to shivers. We, the Israelites, will break the nations. Revelations 12 Verse 5, And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto the Most High and to his throne. The man-child, which is Shai, who is going to rule all nations with a rod of iron, which are the Israelites. Revelations 19, verse 15, And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them, talking about the nations, with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty Elohim. The sharp sword out of Yahweh's mouth is the word of the Most High, and he will make the nations obey it. Yahweh shall rule them, talking about the nations, with a rod of iron, which is Israel. Now the rod of iron symbolizes strength, power, and not yielding or bending away from the word of Yahweh. Revelations 20, verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of the Most High and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. They, talking about Israel, shall be priests of the Most High and of Christ, and shall reign, which means to rule, with him a thousand years. So Christ shall rule with Israel, which is the rod of iron. Need more? Okay, let's get it. Second Timothy 2, verse 12. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. We shall also reign or rule with him. 
So we know Israel will rule with him. And the scripture tells us that Yahweh Shai rules with a rod of iron. Yahweh Shai rules with Israel. Revelations 5 verse 9. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us talking about the Israelites, not everybody in the world, to the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Shai redeemed us, talking about the Israelites. We always have to make this point clear because of Christianity and those that are out there that want to steal what is ours. To the Most High by His blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. This is not talking about all people in the world or other nation Gentiles, but it's talking about the Israelite Gentiles. This is talking about the Israelites that are scattered in all nations, speaking their languages and looking like those people or nations. Revelations 5 verse 10 and has made us unto our Elohim kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Only the bloodline will be kings and priests like Yahweh Shai. If we are his brothers, then we'll be like him, and he is both a king and a priest of the order of Melchizedek. Let's see how he will rule with Israel or the rod of iron. Psalms 2, verse 7. I will declare the decree. Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. The nations or people are given to us, the Israelites, for an inheritance. And the earth is given back to us for a possession. These things we share with Yahweh Shai because he is our brother and we are family. Now pay attention to these scriptures here. Psalms 2 verse 9. Thou shalt break them, talking about the nations, with a rod of iron. Talking about Israel. So the nations shall be broke with the rod of iron, which is Israel. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. That sounds like thumping coming up. The Most High is telling Christ that he will break them, talking about the nations, with a rod of iron. The rod of iron is Israel. So we know that Israel will be used to break the nations. We will lay hands on the nations. And they will fill us. Look here. Obadiah 1, 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Y'all feel me? Jeremiah 51, verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them. For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Israel is the rod of his inheritance. We are clearly told Israel is the rod. The rod. And we know that the rod is used for correcting someone. Edom like the whip, as you all know. Yeah, they used that whip on us pretty good all those years. But we are the rod of iron. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Israel is his battle axe and weapons of war. And with us, the Israelites, 
will he break in pieces the nations, all nations, and with us will he destroy kingdoms. Let's see what else he's going to do with us, the Israelites, the rod of iron, his chosen people. Jeremiah 51, verse 21. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. The nations will be broken of their ways and conform to the ways of Yahweh. We will not be respecters of persons, whether they be young or old weak or strong. We will not repeat an order or instruction to a rebellious minded person in the kingdom. Yahweh doesn't leave his throne. Yahweh Shai will not leave Jerusalem where his throne will be. But he will send out the Israelites, the rod of iron, into the nations to bring forth the will of Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. Now, You know that the rod of iron that Christ will rule with is talking about the Israelites. We are the real iron men and women. We are Israel, the rod of iron. With that, I say shalom.